John Cremens on this January 22nd, 2009. You're about to experience the Odd Planet Spin. Our first story is out of New York, where it's being reported right now as we speak that there is a shortage of buffalo chicken wings. Think about that for a second. We're only about a week and a half away from the Super Bowl. What will we eat? Well, when you think about chicken wings, hot sauce, maybe a little Pennsylvania premium garlic, a couple good places I really love for chicken wings, like Quaker Steak and Lube, which is a, a chain that's out through the Midwest. Of course, then there's Hooters. Oh, and as a side to Hooters, the girl that was the bikini-clad girl on uh, American Idol, she was an ex-Hooter girl who got fired before that audition. Just kind of a side note in case you wondered. But back to food. The chicken wings. It could be a mess. Right now, prices for chicken wings have actually skyrocketed. They've doubled in price. And some suppliers in New York say they won't be able to supply some of the restaurants and sports bars in New York with our premium quality, amazing buffalo chicken wings. Next on Odd Planet, we're going to talk about Obama's inauguration. President Obama, of course, took the oath of office several days ago and is now the 44th president of the United States. There's some interesting things that have just come out in the news recently. Uh, Nielsen just reported the viewership numbers for Obama's inauguration. Many at the time felt that it was the largest and most viewed inauguration of its kind. Well, the new numbers are in, and it's wrong. Obama's inauguration is now the second largest and most viewed inauguration of all time. The first, take a look. That's right, President Ronald Reagan. His inauguration was the most viewed inauguration in the history of the United States, with well over 41 million viewers. Nielsen has put uh, Obama's inauguration in at about 37 million. Oh, and by the way, have you seen the satellite photos yet of the inauguration? It's pretty cool. From satellites, they're able to look down on the mall in Washington and see the people getting ready for uh, President Obama's inauguration. Let's take a look. We started Odd Planet with food, and we're going to end with food. I'm kind of hungry today. Pretty much tell, right? Well, this one has to do with a guy that actually traded a lobster for snow crab legs. It seems this man from upstate New York, uh, after he finished his lobster dinner, figured that he was still hungry. So he went to a local store, reassembled the shell of the lobster with nothing inside, and then said that the lobster was spoiled and that he wanted some crab legs. Well, just as the store owner was about to exchange the shell of the lobster for the crab legs, he noticed the guy was trying to scam him. But by that time, the guy grabbed the crab legs and ran. Well, by the time police finally caught up with him later, he had already eaten all of the snow crab legs. But uh, he's going to be charged. I'm John Cremens, and you've just experienced the Odd Planet Spend.